It's on. New year, new grind. I got a question for you. Are you living life? Or is life living you? How bad do you want to be successful? Are you ready to level up in life? Are you ready to go to that next level? Are you sick of being average? I ask you again, are you living life? Or is life living you? Less than unstoppable. The International World Tour. Dr. Billy O's Brooks. Coming to a city near you. I'll be teaching a four hour life changing seminar on the art of greatness. Arise, champion. Every city will sell out. Get your tickets now. This year we're taking this thing global. 27 cities, Toronto, London, Paris, Rome. We're coming to impact one billion people. If you are serious about success, be at one of these events. Get your tickets now at blessedandunstoppable.com. Beethoven, the great maestro, went completely deaf at the height of his career. Now he'd been playing music, composing for three decades, 30 plus years. So he knew how music worked, how the sounds and vibrations created the feelings and emotions. So from this point forward, he had to compose and conduct in his mind and imagination. He used to take a pencil and put it in his mouth and touch the piano with it so that he could feel the vibration on the inside of himself. He used to lay his whole head down on the top of the piano as he played. He connected deeply with his work. He conducted some of his masterpieces, the most deeply and intense music ever created when he was deaf and the way he did it was he went inside because see when you don't have your ears or your eyes you have to find other ways to connect so he went inside and found that truth that was on the inside of him now from the world's perspective deafness to a composer is a major weakness right but if you listen to Moonlight Sonata, you hear that tension, you hear that power that he's unleashing through his fingers. Through deafness, he finally heard himself. Each one of us in our own life is a composer, a maestro, a conductor, structuring and arranging the music of our lives. And I'm not talking literally about music, I'm talking about truth expressing it in creative ways whether it's in business marriages relationships spiritual life whatever it is you are the maestro listen to that voice within compose your own moonlight sonata your own symphony of truth and what you do don't get distracted stay engaged in a never-ending fierce conversation with your own spirit truth is the chiropractor of the mind i see you let her fire set your world ablaze sail the new seas like columbus looking for the new world that has existed on the inside of you all alone truth is the new black einstein approached everything in his life with what he called thoroughly conscious ignorance which is a prelude to every real advance in knowledge but the wisdom in his approach can be applied to more than just math physics and algorithms we can use that same mindset to discover the truth in ourselves and awaken to who our maker designed us to be the greatest discovery ever is to discover yourself it's been said a thousand times to be successful, you gotta be passionate about what you're doing. But now what is passion? Let's define it. Passion is just the fire and energy expressed when one's truth is truly discovered. When you tap into it, it's a byproduct. Truth is the new black. The couture for greatness. Authenticity is the most sought after ticket around. People will pay top dollar to come sit in the front row to see you play with feeling, depth, and unhindered truth. Now this is the secret. And you can apply the 
It's the sports, martial arts, the boxing ring, meditation, painting, drawing, starting a new company, your spiritual walk, your marriage, whatever. This should be one mindset congruent across all areas of your life. Authenticity is a universal principle that no matter what is applied in, will take you to the next level. It's time for you to stop dating your calling and to get married, to settle down and have a family. I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Greatness. Just as JFK in 1963 went to Berlin and stood at the walls, I stand at your walls, the walls that have separated you from the best version of yourself, the walls that have limited greatness from thriving in your life. I stand at the walls that have hindered your marriage, your relationships, those same walls that have stifled your growth, choked your full potential, and kept you in a box, a prison of absolute mediocrity. I stand at the walls today with pride and I say, tear down these walls and unleash yourself upon the world. Play your truth, maestro. I speak for the whole world. We deeply crave and connect with your music, your originality, your authenticity, the original you. Truth is the new black, so drink yourself down from head to toe with it. Set yourself on fire and the world will come see you burn. The ivory and black keys lust for your permission to strike the strings with originality, to dance unashamed to the music that's been a prisoner of fear inside of you. Tear down those walls and unleash yourself upon the world. Just as Martin Luther nailed his 95 thesis to the door of the castle church in Wittenberg in 1517, I nail this message on the heart of all who have been too insecure to reveal themselves fully to the world. Let the revolution, the second reformation begin. This time the war is on all the enemies that stand in the way of self-awareness. All that oppose the truth inside of you and all the adversaries of your authenticity. Nothing is more seductive than a person beautiful in truth. We're all just models on the runway of life. Some of us are posing while others are projecting. The power is in the projecting. I initiate this revolution. This second reformation, this time, it's rooted in faith applied, truth displayed. This is what it's about. We don't have to go to some cathedral, some church building, and sit in a pew to honor our maker. We get up every day, drape ourselves down in this truth that I'm talking about, and play maestro. Be at peace with who God made you to be, and you'll see all the insecurities were all in you. I'm giving you the secret right here. Oh, if you just grasp what I'm trying to tell you and apply it into your life, your whole life will change. And once you experience it in one area of your life, you won't be able to stand living without it in every area of your life. Tear down those walls and unleash yourself on the world. Play the keys of truth, maestro. We deeply crave and connect with your music. Every word I'm saying is truth. And truth will get you high And right now I'm on cloud nine just saying this Truth is the chiropractor of the mind And what you need daily is an adjustment, a treatment To come back into alignment with yourself Stay yourself, be yourself, express yourself Now the masses, they will never reach their full potential Because they live their lives horizontally They're trapped in a linear world of nine to five Trading their time for dollars. But what I'm trying to get you to do is get out of that horizontal and go vertical. And what I'm saying about that is, first to go vertical, you gotta go down. Down inside, dig deep. Find out who you are. Find the gifts, the talents, the callings that God put in you. Then look up, give him praise, and then rise, maestro. Truth is the new black. Sing, maestro. Tear down those walls and unleash yourself upon the world. The real you. I'm Billy Osbrook. And I came to change the world. Blessed and unstoppable. The second reformation. To God be the glory. With nothing to lose, I discovered everything 
And there, I danced with lightning We were dreamers once I said we were dreamers once Before we had wings Before we knew the sky Before we learned how to soar Let us swallow the light age Rewrite her history Move beyond the fabric, the fabric of limitation Until our minds can dance with lightning We were dreamers once Our world is the art of our thinking And when truth is held with the pain of thought The canvas changes The first step to going to the next level Is to stop mentally living at this level Your thinking must rise before the rest of you does Success doesn't have a GPS to find you Common people think they can do nothing, make no sacrifices, and success will just come fall in their lap. But success must be courted, pursued, and sought after every single day. You never get control of your life, begging for something that you haven't earned. Others won't buy from you what you don't own. Most people don't get that. They copy and imitate successful people, but most successful people got that way by refusing to be anybody but themselves. Learn from the greats, but at the end of the day, be yourself. Cause what God put in you is enough. The thoughts in the womb of our mind long to be born. Any consistent thought held long enough will eventually find a way to manifest itself into physical form. We were dreamers once. I said we were dreamers once Before we got our wings Before we knew the sky Before we learned how to soar We were dreamers once In order to remember who we are We must first forget ourselves With nothing to lose I discovered everything And there I danced with lightning Wisdom is to harness the power of the mind. It is the physical birth of an unseen spiritual desire. The wise man knows how to mobilize his thinking in such a way that it serves his and the world's best interests. With intentional thoughts, he persistently projects his vision onto the voids of life. On his behalf, the laws of the mind spring forth into actions that activate the science of circumstance and eventually they will produce the outcomes that manifest the sought after reality. The wise man is fully aware and awakened to his own creative potential. He knows that every one of his ambitions comes with an equivalent magnetism to attract it. Therefore, he imagines the good that could be until it is. We were dreamers once. I said we were dreamers once. Words without awareness are impotent. Saying positive affirmations without acknowledging the equivalent identity that go with them will only produce nothingness. You must know who you are, the power you have, and the authority that you've been given before you send your words out into the universe. You must know who you are. Then and only then will they manifest your desired outcome. I am the source. Greater is he that is in me. The heat that is in the world, God lives in me. Therefore, I am whole, and I bring that wholeness into every situation. It is written, we destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. True vision has nothing to do with imagining anything. It has to do with seeing past the illusions to the point of only acknowledging the truth. Where you place your mind in the midst of struggle will determine your outcome. With nothing to lose. I discovered everything And there I danced with lightning We were dreamers once I said we were dreamers once As a snake must shed his skin to live We must shed our religious dogmas To walk in the true power of God For our gospel came not unto you in word only But also in power But the hour is coming And now here When true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth For the Father is seeking such people to worship Him God is spirit And those who worship must worship in spirit and truth and he said, said to them, to you has been given the secret of the kingdom of God, but for those outside, everything is in parables. We were dreamers once. 
I said we were dreamers once Real revolutions are not ushered in by the voting box They're not ushered in by rioting and war They are ushered in with the power of the mind Greatness is self-awareness in action Success is the art of flight Your mind, the wings Every thought has an altitude It is time to soar In this life one shall struggle, and that struggle shall lead the individual down the path to discovery. The struggle isn't something that we should run from, but rather something we should embrace with both arms. Trials and tribulations are but mere loyal, loving friends that give to us the gift of all gifts, self-awareness. And during these dark, difficult times, we will discover who we truly are. Personal transformation requires a constant examination of the mental programming and belief system that have been accepted from the world. We must closely question, scrutinize, and dissemble each and every thought, making sure that our thinking will give birth to the type of life that we desire. We were dreamers once. I said we were dreamers once. There's no work, no work to be done. Therefore we dream, dream like children, until the world is ours. Our minds, our minds claim the stars while the eyes, having no physical body, see the truth of God. For the snow has melted, her season is near. Let the waters bring forth, bring forth the living creatures. Open your lungs, breathe her fire, let the furnace burn, burn away what doesn't belong. We were dreamers once. I said we were dreamers once There's no reaching, no striving to achieve We just imagine, imagine like children Believing what we see, we were dreamers once What did you dream? I said we were dreamers once Our thoughts, our thoughts roam the skies While the fingers having no touch feel the power of God Let the waters pour into the voids While the rivers flow drowning the noise We were dreamers once I said we were dreamers once What did you dream? We're mandarins Keepers of the garden Barons of new thought order We know the secrets The alchemy of gold With nothing to lose I discovered everything And there I danced with lightning We were dreamers once Got a magic Dark whispers in the madness of crowds, I found myself with nothing to lose. I discovered everything, and there, in my mind, I danced with lightning. We were dreamers once. Reptiles are Rome, the Julius Caesar thing. Umbrellas are burning in the midst of spring. Yet who understands, understands how to wear the ring? Who can rule, rule the time machine? Let us sow, sow our ambitions into the fabric of being. Like Alexander, relentless. Like Augustus, relentless. May the wise come with us as we write the future For we are the old, old legends with new voices We are the lords, the lords of imagination Come dream with us We were dreamers once I said we were dreamers once Live in the clouds, empires unseen Close your eyes and dream a theme Mansions without floors, thoughts washed clean Sight without doors from a mouth that sings Yet who understands, understands how to wear the ring Who can rule, rule the time machine Let us sow, sow our ambition to the fabric of being Like Trajan, relentless Like Khan, relentless May the wise come with us as we write the future For we are the old Old legends with new voices We are the lords, the lords of imagination Come dream with us We were dreamers once I said we were dreamers once Dragon puppies and jelly beans Close your eyes and dream a theme Light without end The mind vaccine Forgotten realms strumming guitar strings Yet who understands? Understands how to wear the ring Who can rule, rule the time machine Let us sow, sow our ambitions into the fabric of being Like Aurelius, relentless Like Napoleon, relentless May the wise come with us as we write the future For we are the old, old legends with new voices We are the lords, the lords of imagination Come dream with us We were dreamers once I said we were dreamers once What are you dreaming? 
This is Dr. Billy Owls Rules, and I am burning, blessed and unstoppable, in bag one billion, motivational art, welcome to the loo, and to God be the glory. Successful people engage in only two types of activities, seizing opportunity or creating it. Now, greatness is an art. The brush that we use to paint this canvas of success is our mindset. The colors we assemble to bring that masterpiece to life are vision, discipline, grind, and perseverance. Now to excel at this radical form of expression, we must stay focused and not let the distractions of the world interfere with our work. Now every day we must go to the altar of commitment and reconfirm our vows. From a burning state of truth, our hands must aggressively chase perfection. As artists of excellence and high achievement, we must never introduce the fear of failure into our work. Nor should we ever let the opinions of others deter us from pursuing our God-given destiny. May our sweat water the garden of dreams. May our dedication be the sun that makes our goals bloom. And may our why destroy any wall that dare stand against us. The actions we take are the hammer and chisel that carve our life into success. They are the brush and paint that transform our canvas of existence into greatness. They are the piano keys and guitar strings that make our life a song to remember. The warrior must do more than just fall in love with a dream. They must also marry the grind that it takes to make it a reality. Destiny believes in absolute equality. Therefore, every individual gets to experience the life their thinking deserves. It's not our president, political parties, government officials, the police, or some secret privileged elite establishment that continues to enslave us, but rather the inner dictators of our own minds. Now when we seek to change the world by external means, we only fool ourselves into a deeper form of bondage. The fullness of the Emancipation Proclamation, set in motion by President Lincoln in 1862, can only be experienced and enjoyed by those who understand where real liberation comes from. Those who have yet to awaken to this fact will continue to remain shackled and imprisoned behind the iron bars of blind thinking. Regardless of their promises, no civil rights organization, no political party, no presidential candidate, no dream team law firm, nor any religious denomination can usher in what only us as individuals have the power to do. Slavery, since the beginning of time, has proven over and over that she is ignorant of all color. She does not discriminate on who she wishes to enslave. Anyone whose thinking will allow her to be their slave master, she will lash ruthlessly with her cruel whip of limitations. Her ownership can only be overthrown by the awareness of where her authority truly resides and that place is in the mind. The true freedom writers of humanity will point us not to the voting polls of a future November, but rather to the liberating power residing within our own skulls right now. The laws of greatness are ignored and seen as madness to the common man. Those who want and desire to be massively successful must first take their mind and ways to the guillotine. The blessed and unstoppable believer understands that trials and tribulations are just chaotic voids begging to be penetrated by the power of the mind. Those who desire next level living must join the insurgency against the dream murdering regimes of average and complacency. Greatness can only be achieved by all our war. This requires an aggressive, ruthless, daily attack on all corners of one's existence until the full overthrow and annihilation of the internal totalitarian government that enslaves the common man to become the best version of you. You must do more than just think outside the box. You must totally destroy it. Your life should be a relentless form of subversive art that disrupts the false illusions of human limitations. Make no apologies to the ignorant for displaying the truth within you. Those who display genius, those who projected greatness, those who arose from nothing to become something were all first laughed at, doubted, and made fun of. 
The rejection of the world did not stop them. It merely intensified their desire to overcome the struggle and ascend to even higher levels of achievement. The world belongs to the bold. The warrior understands that to grind with bold action is the most powerful prayer of them all. The common man does not choose his destiny. Fear decides it for him. Many seek to attain greatness in order to feel loved or accepted. However, since the beginning of time, the laws that govern high achievement have testified that greatness at first is always rejected and misunderstood. A fully awakened believer is not subject to external circumstances. He is the master of them. There is not some political messiah out there that can set us free. Liberation comes from within. One must die to the knowledge of limitations in order to rise above them. Anything standing opposed to the manifestation of heaven's truth on earth can be dissolved in the anointed fire of wisdom. Relationship with God opens up the door to unimaginable power. Having a deep connection to the creator initiates the eternal marriage between truth and self. The love child born from this union is spiritual awareness and out of it flows a profound level of higher understanding. Glorious is the day that the mind awakens to its full authority. Christianity is a way of life. It's not about going to some building every Sunday praying to a God far away in the sky. Christianity is awakening to the full understanding that God lives within us and that we have the full power and capability to achieve any righteous outcome that we desire. It is not a passive, sit back and let things happen type of existence. It is an aggressive art of living that declares and then projects the promises of God upon any circumstance or situation that arises. When one ascends to the highest revelations of Christianity, they become a spiritual architect whose only goal in life is to design, build, and construct the kingdom of God. This person understands that true prayer is not about asking God for something but rather about aligning every aspect of one's life up with what God has already given. When we become Christians, we worship in spirit and truth, which means our actions are the offering that we honor our maker with. The love that is ignited internally from Christianity should become an all-consuming fire that overflows into our external environment, setting everything in our life ablaze. We should shun Ignore and then destroy the illusions of anything that runs contrary to the word of God by radiating truth. It's not about us going to war with sin. It's about us returning to the garden state of becoming ignorant of sin altogether. Christianity is about unlearning everything that we have learned of this world so that we can become all that God has ordained and anointed us to be. When we as Christians return to this I am state referenced in the scripture, everlasting peace and order shall finally prevail in this universe. The stumbling block of man is his ignorance as to where God's power truly resides. He looks externally for the keys to his freedom, not knowing that the means to his liberation is already within him. The more one acknowledges separation from the creator, the less power that individual function in. When a believer awakens to the power of his mind, he finally discovers how close God really is. God did not hide his heaven beyond the stars. He strategically placed his palaces of wisdom and truth inside each and every one of us. He, unaware of the God that lives within, becomes a slave to the body that he wears. The ignorant cloak of flesh enslaves his mind with the delusions of imitation. God is not hiding himself from us. It's our lack of awareness and understanding that blinds our eyes to his presence. Only hungry eyes can see the beauty of wisdom. Only thirsty ears can hear the voice of truth. Only the tired heart can digest understanding. Only the weak soul can swallow revelation. As believers, we get not our power from the moral laws of Christianity, but rather from the awareness of God's fire within us. Adherence to the moral laws alone will never ignite the flame of authority, but the inner fire, once discovered, will burn and purify us into a state that aligns with righteous morality. Any attempts to live in a moral Christian life without the inner spirit's guidance will be in vain. 
Those who are ignorant of the inner dwelling of God cannot fully walk in truth, nor can they comply fully with the moral written word that demands awareness of it in order to fulfill itself. The believer who wishes to walk in the fullness of God's power must shun religion and its impotent rituals altogether in exchange for a deep, intimate, personal relationship with the Creator. One cannot understand the depths of the written word, nor can one tap into its infinite spiritual dynamite without reading it through the flame. The one who truly sees the universe within cannot have his desires rejected by the world. Each believer who comes into this profound revelation becomes a vessel of divine miracles. These anointed minds will write and perform their own modern book of Acts that glorifies and ushers in the kingdom of God. And though I see not, I believe. Though I hear not, I believe. I know not. But still, I believe. And when my eyes go blind, I will see. And when there's no evidence to testify, I will have faith. And when it doesn't make sense, still, I will trust. Though my body is weak and overcome with doubt, my soul will not waver, nor shall my spirit ever concede. There will be challenges and there will be storms. There will be battles and crowns of thorns. There will be wounds, scars, and many defeats. But I shall be victorious because God is in me. I said I shall be victorious because God is in me. And that same God is in you. Look within. This is Dr. Billy Allsbrooks. And I am blessed and unstoppable. Impact one billion people. God still moves. Motivational art. Welcome to the Louvre. Fire true music. And to God be the glory. The struggle is real, but you know you were meant for more. That dream that's on the inside of you just won't shut up. Cause you know you were meant for more You've always been different They never understood you They've always doubted you Cause you're different But you know something that they don't know You know to be successful you cannot follow the masses You gotta be different And you are bold enough to be you You've always been different Success ain't for everybody B7 you clothing Wear your identity Blessed and unstoppable. Success starts with putting the right things into your mind. And my new book, Blessed and Unstoppable, was strategically designed to align your mind with the laws of success. This curriculum will teach you the inner mechanics required to go from average to phenomenal. From living a life with limits to being blessed and unstoppable. As you follow this guide step by step, amazing breakthroughs will happen. New doors of opportunity will open and favor will begin to chase you down. Less Than Unstoppable is a 31-day devotional on the laws of success. This book will instigate the thought process and actions required to transform your life. Each day has a Bible verse, a teaching on that day's principle, a positive affirmation, a prayer for the day, self-assessment questions, success quotes, action steps, and a powerful inspirational message. Regardless of what field you're in, Blessed and Unstoppable is your blueprint for success. Get your copy at blessedandunstoppable.com. Also available on Amazon.